Hey everyone, in this video we are going to review a company that is estimated to have a 15% dividend yield this year. This will vary slightly depending on what price you buy the stock at. It's currently at $13.35 as of this recording. Okay, so the company is Kumba Iron Ore and we're going to explain why just looking at the dividend percentage is not always going to make you the most money. And a bit more on what Kumba Iron Ore does is they're the fourth largest iron ore producer worldwide and the largest in Africa. On November 11th, the Sunday Times awarded Kumba Iron Ore the first position in its list of the top 100 companies that earned the highest returns for their shareholders over the past five years. But in Simply Wall Street, there was a recent article where Themba Mukwanzi, a non-executive director, sold a large amount of shares, in fact the largest insider sale of the last year for the company. Now let's move on to the financials of the company to see how healthy the company is. Okay, so as advertised, I'll be donating to charity for every like, comment and subscription up to $100 for this cycle. Likes and comments are 3 cents each and subscriptions are 4 cents each. Further details will be in the description below. Now let's get to the analysis. To start we want to look at the profit before tax and expenses. This will tell us the margin or percentage of money a company keeps before tax and expenses. 40% or more is desired here, very close to 40 is okay as well. Next we want to look at the profit after tax and expenses. This is a measure of a company's net profitability and we are looking for 20% or higher. Next up is retained earnings. Here we want to see steady growth. If it's not growing steadily then the money the company is earning is not consistent year on year and can be a result of volatility. Next is the return on equity. This is a measure of the profitability of a business in relation to the equity or money the company has. Generally 15 to 20 percent is good uh, but it can vary between industries. Next we want to see if the company can pay off its debt in less than four years. The shorter time to pay off the debt the better. Next we want to calculate the capital expenditure to income ratio. The lower the better, so less than 25% is great and less than 50% is acceptable here. Okay, for Kumba Iron Ore they passed in all categories except for retained earnings where they got 4 out of 5. Hey everyone, if you want to keep up to date with my videos remember to subscribe and set notifications to all. Okay, now we are going to calculate the intrinsic value of Kumba Iron Ore's stock using the EPS growth rate and P ratios from Yahoo Finance. For Kumba Iron Ore, the fair value is showing as $2.89 and a buy price of $1.45. This is largely due to the expected negative growth rate and the low P ratio. Also a quick legal disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this should not be taken as financial advice. Please consider talking to a financial advisor before making investment decisions.